What's up guys, Day Zero Gaming here today. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for your continued support of my channel. Lately we've been gaining heaps of new subscribers and uh, good day for that. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys this weapon right here, the Vector Shorty. I'll try to be quick and thorough just like usual. Um, so the base damage on this thing is 21. The ammo it uses is 0.45, 2.6 second reload speed. 1200 RPM and 30 round magazine so the best part about this weapon so let me go ahead and explain this it has an integrated suppressor meaning that the built-in it's a built-in suppressor um, obviously and if you w need a suppressed weapon and you want want to use a class other than I think it's Panther this weapon does not give you a damage debuff for using the suppressor. As it's built in, the base damage is the damage you deal with the suppressor because it's built in. Other weapons, it gives you a minus 20% reduction for using the suppressor outside of using the Panther class, which negates that. But if you want to use Assault and use the Vector Shorty, you do not get penalized for using it. That is why this weapon is so good, including in PvP. Mostly in PvP. If you're Assault and you need a close quarters SMG, this is the SMG to go. Um, I will be showing you guys the shot spread and everything like that, so if you can't handle that, no problem. Um, I'm going to try to upgrade it real quick now that I'm actually making the video on it, you know. Get the damage up a little bit, and just as far as it'll go, you know, just chilling. Okay, and then here's the attachments. It does not have an extended mag, so that's one issue with it. You know, just due to game balancing. Now you might want to use the iron sights, that way you get the minus 10% vertical recoil. A lot of people don't know about that, but it's up to you. Okay, so just, just by reading that, bro, do not get the rounded angled foregrip. That's a horrible uh, trade-off. Minus 15% recoil for 15% in a different type of recoil. That's just stupid. Um, this one actually looks good, too. Minus 10% horizontal. Yeah, I'm going to run that one. You need to read what they actually do. I've noticed that. Okay, so now we'll actually go into the shot spread of the weapon and stuff like that. So here's me shooting the weapon. Um, so here, first off, the fire modes are burst and fully auto. So that's just to let you guys know that. Um, I am using assault class in case anyone's wondering. So here's me not not um, holding anything down other than the trigger. You know, not trying to negate the firing in any way. So here we go. Pretty straight line up and down too. That was nice. Okay, and here's me controlling the fire. I mean, pretty, I mean, there was a little bit of um, shot spread on that, but it's not too bad. I mean, it stays pretty much put and it stays in a straight, straight up and down line pretty much. It doesn't shoot too far off to the right, too far off to the left. And obviously, burst fire um, would be like this. It shoots a little bit off to the left compared to the other one, but it still shoots pretty pretty accurately. And then here's me um, controlling the bursts. 
super fucking accurate right there. Like, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's Sender Mass for sure. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Of course, leave a like, subscribe for more future content. I have been putting in work lately, and, and it's definitely showing with the amount of support I'm getting. So, I appreciate you guys. Farewell, and, and good day, mate.